And I think that the men in the purple and gold that I've seen here, when I first saw them approaching down the street, this is not the first time I've ever seen them or heard of them. But when I saw them, I thought, now these are some young kings here. They look like kings. They speak like kings. And when they start teaching, they sound like kings. Yeah. Uh huh. All praise to the Father. So Rock is in a building. Did you know that you're an Israelite? No, I didn't. You didn't know that you was an Israelite? Look no. at this sign right here. We talking to the I 12 tribes of Israel. With, I agree with that, you agree with that? I don't agree with what you said That's what I'm about the white man. Okay, what about? Because God's no respect for a person. So I don't, I don't, I don't, Give me that. Give me that Exodus chapter 4. Let me show you what, what the Bible is talking about. What's your name, my brother? Renee. Renee? Uh -huh. Say, bro, don't go nowhere, bro. Young man, don't get lost. Hey, look, come check it out. Come check it out. You ain't, yeah, you ain't hot. I know you ain't hot. Not you. Come check it out, my brother. Read that. Look at, we're going to show you what it means by respect of persons. For respect of persons. But wouldn't that be considered under the Mosaic law, Ten Commandments? Well, we're still under the, we're still under the Ten well, Commandments. Well, doesn't Paul say if there was salvation in the law, there'd be no need for Jesus Christ? What part of the law was he talking about? Right. The Mosaic law, Ten Commandments. No. So if it's a Ten Commandments, can I go out and sleep with your wife and be cool with it? You'll be cool with it? Right, you could you could think about it. What you talking about? No, 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 no. I'm talking about going out there, taking your wife, uh -huh. and going to take her to my house. That's your wife, though. Uh -huh. I'm going to cheat. Now, I ain't going to cheat because you saying we're going to do away with the mosaic law. That's right. not cheat. I can just take your wife. Right. Well, see, adultery. Steal from your house. Adultery under the law. Uh-huh. You were worthy of death if you did it. Okay. But you couldn't think it. So how do you justify these laws. How do you, how do you, if I was to break these laws under the Mosaic law, how was I justified? How do I, how would I be justified under the Mosaic law? Because what did I have to do? Because you had to naturally go out commit adultery. No, 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 listen, what I'm saying. To commit adultery. If I was to commit adultery, what did I have to go do? You would have to do it. Well, no, no. I, after I did the action, what did I have to do to justify myself unto God? What did I have to do? Oh, oh okay, they were going, well, they call it repent. But well, yeah. Offer, offer of yeah, I, uh, what? Offer of sacrifices. Offer of sacrifices, right? right? So, do we still offer of sacrifices today? Well, uh, that's kind of a trick question. No, right? I'm saying, do we offer of sacrifices today? Do we go out and take a bull and we go cut it or slaw, slaughter a ram? Do we no. offer? We don't offer sacrifice no, today. Don't. So what? The what's sacrifice. the offering? The, the offering now is our body. Because no. Because Paul says. Listen to what the offering is. Paul says this. Give me that in Hebrews. You got give me that in Hebrews. Let me show you what the offering is. You agree is. with what Paul says, right? Yeah, I agree with what Paul says. Okay, he says but you I have the misinterpretation of what Paul is talking uh, about. Listen to what he says though. We're about he to show says, you what he's saying. Tony says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living, a living sacrifice, God, right? Holy and acceptable unto God. So how do you do that? How do you live yourself holy unto God? By serving the Lord. How do you serve the Lord? Do I just do it upon my own action? No, no, no. Right. So he gave us a guideline of how to live, right? Yeah. Let's go to Hebrews 10. Let me give you the understanding of what you're saying, brother. Okay. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 1. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, uh -huh. and not the very image of the things, can never, with those sacrifices which they offer year by year, Continually make the comments there unto perfect. So we what we couldn't be made perfect by the sacrifices, right? Uh, yes. We couldn't law, be made. That's all I'm saying. Example. The law what of sacrifice you was. This, you're shadow. not. You didn't hear what it said. It said the law shadow. of sacrifice was an example. You understand what I'm saying? So now we're gonna get to the true example. We're gonna get to you what the shadow was bringing out. Read. For then would they not have ceased to be awful if the coming if they were if the sacrifices made us perfect. They would not have to do it year by year. Right. Read on, read. Because the worshippers once heard should have had no more conscience of sin. Uh -huh. read on. But in those sacrifices, there's a remembrance again made of sins every year. So because we were offering sacrifices of bulls and lambs, there was a remembrance of that sin. Yeah. It did not purge us from that sin, right? right? So what purged us? Read on. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls uh -huh. and of goats shall take away sins. So it wasn't possible that the blood of bulls could take away sins, right? That's Read on. Right. 
Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering uh -huh. that what is not. So sacrifice and offerings, I don't even need that. I don't want that no more. I don't want your sacrifices and your offerings. Read on. Right. But a body has thou prepared me. Who was that? Whose body was prepared for us? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, right? Read. And burnt offering and sacrifice for sin that had no pleasure. Then said I, no, I come in the volume of the book. That's talking about Christ, right? Yes. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Uh -huh. Above when he said, sacrifice and offering, and burnt offering, and offering for sin thou wouldest not, uh -huh. neither hadst thou pleasure therein. So he had no pleasures no more in our offering sacrifice because right. it did not make us perfect. Right. Jesus Christ made us perfect because for certain laws, for certain sins that we did, it required blood. Right. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So if I broke the Sabbath day, for example, if I was to go out and break the Sabbath day, Mind you, 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 the Sabbath day is kept in the Ten Commandments, right? right? right. So if we come out and broke the Sabbath day, what was the, what was the requirement? If we broke it, it was death. Right. It was our blood. That's right. So Christ redeemed us of being killed right then and there, but it did not say to continue on in sin. Right. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? What is sin? Sin, you can go easily to uh, Galatians 5.19. I got one, I got one even even clearer than that. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. This is oh, what sin right. is. Yeah, that's right. First John 3 and 4. Actually, first first John, John chapter, chapter 3, 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. So whosoever committed sin, read. Transgressive also the law. So sin is what? For sin the is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of God's laws. So when I break God's laws, that means I'm in the midst of sin. Right. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Right. So if I'm in the midst of sin, I can't be living for Christ. That's, That's right. right. I agree right? with you. So go back to Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 9. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Uh -huh. He taketh away the first. The law of sacrifice. That he may establish the second. Uh -huh. Christ. By the which will we are sanctified uh -huh. through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. We are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Right. But that does not say we can continue in sin. Give me, 10, give me verse 26. I agree with you on that. Listen at this. Hebrews 10 and verse 26. This is also what he's saying. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully. For if we sin, meaning we break God's laws willfully. What does it mean? There's no more sin offering offered up for yourself. So it's like Christ died for nothing. Right. So if I go out and I commit adultery, if I go out and I kill my brother, knowing I'm not supposed to be killing, you know what I'm saying? If I go out and commit adultery, if I go out and break the Sabbath day, if I go out and shave my face right. willfully, knowing that I'm not supposed to be doing these things, right? What do you say? If we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, uh -huh. there remaining no more sacrifice for sin. There remaining no more sacrifice for sins. It's like you pissing in, in Christ's face. That's true. You understand what I'm saying? So you see what I'm saying about what you said about the white man? So what about him? See, because Jesus Christ said, you know, he tells you, Give me no murderer has eternal life, right? You agree with that? Right. No murderer. No murderer? But to have hate. You hold on, he said no murderer has no eternal murderer. life? No murderer. Where do you say that at? It's in the Bible. Where did he say that at? I can't tell you where it is, but I know I read it. No. No murderer have eternal no. life. No. In a sense, you're not going to get the kingdom because, of heaven because look, if you are a murderer, if you, to, if you continue in your sin. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? But you see, if you go to Paul again, Galatians 5.19, uh -huh. murderer is in there. Okay. But to have hate in your heart is equivalent to a murderer, right? I don't have hate in my heart. What hate do I have in my heart? See, if even Jesus said... When he gave Give me parable, Matthew uh, 15, verse 24. When he gave the parable about the camel, the eye of the needle. Right. He said it's easier for a camel to go to the eye of a needle. Than right? for a rich man, right? Right. But it means it's possible. Listen at this. But you see. Who is, he, who is Christ talking to, first of all? Who is Christ talking to? Who is Christ talking to? He was talking to everybody. You really He's talking to everybody? Yeah. Everybody was around him? We're yeah. going to read you. We're going to read you this. They Matthew want, chapter 15. They, Listen at this. What's your want, name, my brother? Renee. 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 Matthew chapter 15, started verse 21, I believe. 22. Verse, 
Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, uh -huh. saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, uh -huh. thy, son of Je thy son of David. Uh -huh. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So this is a woman of another nation, right? Yes. She was, she was vexed. Yeah. Read on. But he answered her not a word. He ain't say nothing to her. Right. Why wouldn't he say nothing to her? Why, why would he not speak to this woman? She crying out for him. Why would he dismiss her? That's right. If he came for everybody, right? right. Read. But he answered her not a word. He answered her not even say nothing to her. He's talking about Jesus the Christ. They love everybody, right? That's right. He answered not a word. Why? And his disciples came and besought him, so saying, a lot of disciples that are with him, saying what? Send her away. Man, get this woman, tell this woman to go about her business. Yeah. Send her away. They are going about her business. Read. For she cried after us. And she crying after us. Man, sit on our way. Read. Right. But he answered and said. He said, but he answered and said what? I am not sent. I'm not what? I am not sent. Uh -huh. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So who did Christ come for, Renee? Uh -huh. Who did he come for? Hold on now. I'm just. I want you to keep reading. We're going to read it. Okay. Who did he come for? Who did Christ say he came for? That's right. I agree who? with you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.